away they go. Yogaru breaks smartly and goes straight for the lead. Daylight Storm is right there in second. On the far side, Grace upon Grace and Sweet Tigger are both showing speed. Tribal face down at the rail. Only two lengths separates five. Then it's Wolf Tail followed by Bertrand Hill. In behind them comes Minister from Miami and Killer Bear is a good eight off the leaders. And two more to John Scott. John Scott last early. Into the turn they go and Daylight Storm by a length. In the second spot is Yoga Roo. On the far side is Grace upon Grace. Down at the rail is Tribal Face. They are being followed by Sweet Tigger. Now coming after them from fifth. Then we come back to Bertrand Hill. And now here comes John Scott winding up with a huge run. John Scott from last. He's about five wide, but he's catching a horse with each and every stride. Can he sustain this run now? John Scott, grandstand side coming home gainly. Tribal face between them. Daylight storm down at the rail. Daylight storm, tribal face. John Scott is starting to flatten out in third. Still in with a winning chance, though. John Scott coming back on the outside. Daylight storm. John Scott will get there. John Scott up to win a daylight storm. Tribal face and killer bear was fourth. Tribal face between them. Daylight storm down at the rail. Daylight storm, tribal face. John Scott is starting to flatten out in third. Still in with a winning chance, though. John Scott coming back on the outside. Daylight storm. John Scott will get there. John Scott up to win a daylight storm. Tribal face and killer bear was fourth. It's John Scott and the I'm Smoking Stakes. To my left is Mr. John Harris, the co-owner and breeder, along with Scott Gross, and that's how you get John Scott. So when you saw the horse break slow from the rail today, I'm curious, did you bang your program on the table, or what were your thoughts at that point? Well, I wasn't real happy about it. I knew he was going to come from behind, but I was worried if he would be that far behind or not. And uh, you always think that maybe this is just not his day, but he sure came running. He sure does. And now, does this book him an appointment for the Cal Cup Juvenile with the added distance, uh, do you hope? Definitely this horse will improve with more distance. It's, it's a, I mean, I think this horse could go on to the Breeders' Cup Juvenile, really, so we might also take a look at the Norfolk. Well, he it sure looks like he's green and still learning, wouldn't you agree? Oh, yeah. He, he always thought he'd be a, a round horse, and he, uh, you know, was, was a little immature, and he came along really well, and we just kept going with him, but he's, I, I think he's got a big future. Something to look forward to. Congratulations. Thank you. That is Mr. John Harris. John Scott becomes a stakes winner.